Hi there. Well, it seemed like an interesting question, so I'll, I'll go ahead and give it a shot and try to answer it, and hopefully some of the YouTube and MySpace and Facebook viewers out there will let me know if, if they have any other ideas. So I'm going to go with seven. How many different ways can you build a flying saucer? I'll say at least seven, probably more. I'm going to go ahead and list them off the top of my head right now. Um, first, most important one you'll want to know about because it's probably the most dangerous is the one Nikola Tesla used according to William Line. That type of craft, like the cigar-shaped UFO, uh, sucks the ether in the front and spits it out the back. But as Wilhelm Reich discovered, demonstrated, and observed, there are all kinds of toxic effects electricity can have on the ether. Reich called it the orgone, and he referred to this as the Oriner effect. Um, and the saucers that Reich observed, he claimed, were taking the orgone in and spitting out DOR, D-O-R, deadly orgone radiation out the rear, um, which sounds a lot, again, like what William Line tells us Tesla invented. And I'll go into more detail uh, throughout the series, and I'll be illustrating stuff for you. Um, uh, number two, uh, Bifeld-Brown effect. Uh, you can read about that in Rose Sigma's book, Ether Technology, and uh, Thomas Vallone's series, Electrogravitics. However, you won't get the ether version from Vallone. And um, I'll also go into the ether cover-up. Um, which line talks about uh, James DeMeo of the Oregon Biophysical Research Laboratory in Oregon. So one Tesla to the Bifeld Brown effect from Thomas Townsend Brown, which contrary to conventional wisdom has been tested in a vacuum. So that's another thing you need to know uh, about the Bifeld Brown effect. Number three, the Searle effect. It's also been given other names, but I'm going to use the name the Searle effect. And I'll, I'll also be going into who else has developed those, just like who else is experimenting with the Bifeld Brown effect. And I'll be going into William Line. So those three are all electrical so far Tesla, Brown, Searle. Uh, and then uh, easy fourth is Victor Schauberger, which uses water. Some of you may have heard it if you've read Zechariah Sitchin's books. Uh, he claims that Enki traveled here with a water powered spacecraft. So Schauberger possibly could have found the same. Uh, technology that was used. If Sitchin got it right, I mean, he's only one person, but he did his best, I know. Okay, number five, John Whirl Keeley. Now, this one might be a bit of a stretch, um, but we'll get into John Whirl Keeley and harmonic vibrations and stuff. Number six, I'm going to go with the Hutchison effect, and I'm not too sure about this one, but I'll, I'll play it out anyway. Uh, the Hutchison effect is actually a group of electrical phenomena that John Hutchison, I think, from Canada, tried to duplicate some of Tesla's experiments and made all these discoveries. And so there's a lump of them grouped together as the Hutchison effect. And there are claims of anti-gravity. So there's a sixth one. You guys can Google all of these, okay? Nikola Tesla and William Line. Definitely read Line's version, L-Y-N-E. Um, the Bifeld Brown effect, B-I-E-F-E-L-D, Brown. Um, from Thomas Townsend Brown and his teacher Paul Alfred Byfeld, J.R.R. Searle, Victor Schauberger, uh, John Whirl Keeley, there's Keeley Net, um, and uh, the Hutchison effect I just heard about recently, so you guys can look into that more. And then the seventh one, the last group, number seven, a number of different discoveries Reich made uh, just with simple laws of attraction and repulsion um, and pulsation, especially that could lead to designs if people set their minds to it and try to come up with this stuff. So just in terms of man-made UFOs, I don't know about any of this alien stuff. I've read, you know, a few different books from the Disclosure Project you've probably heard of. Yeah, this is the late retired Colonel Philip J. Corso's book, The Day After Roswell. If you've read that, uh, you'll know that he got all of his information out of a folder in a filing cabinet. William Line tells another story of the Roswell crash, which you'll find interesting. Okay, but back to Wilhelm Reich, anyway, and the seventh possible man-made way that that uh, we could make UFOs. Um, there's a pendulum experiment. If you guys read the Cancer Biopathy, which is volume two of Discovery of the Orgone, there's a bunch of stuff actually. There's a couple pendulum experiments. Well, I'm gonna I'll grab the books in the next shows and uh, in the next episodes of this as I go. 
and uh, and I'll show you the experiments. I'll read you different excerpts, and I'll read you some other stuff I wrote if you have questions, just because it's good to see what you want to know. Now, I'll come back with more details on all this stuff. Uh, so far, I hope this first video has been informative and uh, gets you all looking in the right directions and not following false leads. Um, so my next show will be focusing especially on the unified ether or orgon, possibly akasha. We need more experiments done, basically, and more people to put their mind to it and get away from all the dumbing down that's going on. I'll also go into more reasons in the next episode, I guess, why this is something important um, and worth as much of your attention as, say, you know, Dynacorp and Halliburton sex slave trade. All the, the poison in, in the water, the chemtrails, the 9-11 cover-up, the 50,000 first responders dying, um, the Federal Reserve. That's why I think this issue of flying saucers and especially free energy from the ether or from the orgone is at least as important and necessary in the terms that uh, Quigley would have used. If you've read Weapon Systems and Political Stability, uh, which I'll also be going into, um, just as necessary for people to know and understand as are the high crimes that are being committed in our names right now. Um, so uh, this, uh, this stuff isn't really into in the Patriot news yet, but it should be, and so hopefully um, doing this video series will help get it out to the Patriot groups especially. The last thing I just wanted to cover in this first episode is I've been doing all this research into these concepts uh, for a book I'm writing. It's taking some time and I figured since I have the opportunity to go ahead and do the YouTube and Facebook and MySpace TV series and possibly you know I might go to some of the other video social utilities out there with this but uh, definitely respond and if anyone has anything to contribute um, I might uh, you know I, I want to turn this into something that could make money you know I might turn these into DVDs after I get into it. this is just the first one to kind of test the waters see what people are interested in um, and I'll start with that but uh, definitely if if anyone out there wants to invest in business and especially someone who has experience in business and has done it before definitely like to hear from those people you can write to me personally or do a video response, you know, or write a comment, or whatever you want. Um, but I definitely like to hear all kinds of feedback from everyone. Um, the more intelligent, the better. Uh, and I'm sure everyone else watching will appreciate it too if you try to keep it on the up and up. All right, well, good luck to everybody with your studies, and have fun. And I'll be back soon, uh, come hell or high water.